This game is rated E for everyone. The commentary may not reflect this rating. Hello everyone and welcome to Stuart Little 2 for the PS1. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'll, I'll be skipping the cutscenes because they're part of the movie and of course I'm gonna skip content ID. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you that right now, just rip that bandage right off. Let's get right into it, shall we? Now there is a very specific reason why I chose to play this game. A, a very good friend of mine, Prack Makes Birth. He he played this game on a stream once, and he kept saying, "Oh, this is really, really bad and stuff." But I, I honestly didn't find that bad. Aside from the repetitive music, it's fine. I, I, I it's just a platformer. So it's fine. Dear Stuart, I'm in deep, deep trouble. The evil Falcon's been forcing me to steal jewelry for him from the people of New York. I want to stop, but I need your help to escape this crime lord's talons. Will you help me find all the hidden jewelry so we can return it to its rightful owners? If you can help, please come meet me in the backyard so we can begin the search. Your friend forever, Margolo. So we're gonna get right into it, shall we? We had better get you into shape, Stuart, if we're going to take on Falcon and return all the jewelry to its rightful owners. Surely. Thankfully, your brother George has built this training course for you to train on. And it seems like it's just a... A standard... Like, platformer. For kids mostly. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, Stuart. The first thing we need to practice is your jumping, jumping skill. skill. To jump, press the jump button and try okay. to get over the step in front of you. I couldn't jump before. I pressed the button, I couldn't jump before. Great, Stuart. I knew you could do it. If you press the jump button during the first jump, of you course. Can jump again while in midair. Try this to jump over the next step in front of you. Now I can... Okay, now I can. That's it, Stuart. Why don't you practice jumping to and from the plant pots near us to make sure you've got the hang of it. Okay. When you feel you are ready, come over to me near the wall so we can continue your training. Th that's... Yeah, that's easy. Here's a skill you might find useful, Stuart. You'll be able to climb over this wall behind me if you use your double jump skill. The test doesn't You'll really scroll. Up the top of the wall and then climb up by pressing up. Give it a try and I'll meet you over the other side. Okay. Uh, easy enough. It's pretty standard. You may have to defend yourself against Falcon's minions, Stuart. <laughs> the Falcon You're has gonna minions. Have to learn how to protect yourself. Small objects like this can be picked up and thrown by pressing the throw button. So pick some up and try knocking out some of the targets next to us. If you run out of ammo, come back and pick up some more. Okay. What the fuck are those? Are those worms? How can these be minions to the falcon? Wouldn't these be food to the falcon? Easy. Wait. Stuart. If you stand Not on top of the tree trunk, I'll show you how to throw more accurately. It's, it wasn't really great. I missed twice, you know? Okay, teach me. If you press and hold camera left and camera right together, you will see through Stuart's eyes. What, what, you you've been talking to me like in first person all this time, now you're talking third? Try to shoot the flowers underneath the large tree to practice this new skill. Okay. It's not... It's not... Working. Excellent, Stuart. You should have no problems dealing with Falcon's minions with shooting like that. I know I didn't use the thing, but you know, it's not... second attack. Over there? Okay. If 
you press your tail whip button, you will spin around and whip nearby objects with your tail. You can use this to open suitcases, protect yourself against enemies, and activate switches. Try your new skill on the objects beside us. Okay. Oh, you mean in this? Nice move, Stuart. Now come over here near the gate and I'll show you another use for your tail whip. I literally cannot do anything until she teaches me. This is very much a kid's lost, game. Stuart, but don't worry, it can be opened by activating the switch. Use your tail whip move to activate the switch. I'll meet you on the other side. That was easy. Activating switch is pretty standard stuff. Uh, are you? Oh, here. Hi, Stuart. In this part of the garden, we're going to improve your climbing skills. First off, I want you to go over to the bamboo sticks over there. If you jump at one of them, you will grab it and be able to climb up okay. and down. So get climbing, Stuart. Seems pretty standard. This. Stuart. Now you this can climb poles. is amazing. Try to jump from one pole to the other. Keep trying till you can get it. That's the way to do it, Stuart. Easy. Now come over to this spade and try jumping onto it and climbing to the top. Oh, now I can. I had to wait for the dialogue to disappear. Okay. I've reached the top, Margolo. Jesus. I've never been someone so excited for this. Wow, Stuart. Good things sure do come in small packages. You can climb all sorts of things like the ivy on the wall over there. Have a go and see if you can reach the top. Let's see if I can reach the top. Good thing they put this uh, Stuart, mouse on the stickers on the wall for me to climb. Covers, you can climb. Or else up. I would never know. Now come over to the tunnel entrance and I'll teach you how to crawl. You know, you could just... It would be faster... Okay. You will have to crawl on all fours under this obstacle, Stuart. Just walk up to okay. the entrance and you will enter crawl mode. Then crawl to the other side of the tunnel where I will greet you. You can protect yourself in crawl mode by using the throw button. Okay, we can press the throw button to throw stuff while in crawl mode. Seems easy enough. Well done, Stuart. You made it through the tunnel. Hope you didn't get too dirty. While you're in the water, use the speed boost button to swim faster, the tail whip button to dive under, and then the jump button to swim around underneath. Okay. When you've had enough, swim to the surface and use the jump button to jump out and meet me near the bench. That seems eno uh, easy enough. There we go. I know. I just did that. Come on. Keep up with the times, woman. You cannot skip dialogue, which is good. Here's a handy skill, Stuart. If I'll show you a handy skill. Surfaces like the one next to us. Handy. Just press the jump button when standing on the game, not grab. Automatically grab a hold. You can press the jump button to jump off at any time. So get on up and so basically down to the other end of the bench. There we go. Easy enough. Well done, Stuart. You've completed your training, so come on over to the back door. <laughs> I'll definitely come on over to the back door if you know what I mean. Kids game autograph. Oof. I'm not sure I'm ready for this yet. This is the first level, it's been 10 minutes, the tutorial took 10 minutes, really. Uh, I'm gonna try shorter videos, again, I, I always try to keep the video short, so I'm gonna end it off here, seems like a good cutoff point. And next time, we'll take on the first level, I'll see you guys there on the flip side, bye bye